Welcome back, RealVacantLand.com. It's Luke Smith. I just answered some questions on uh, on uh, YouTube, and Scene Post was asking, Luke, I love this channel. <laughs> you know, I, I did a thumbs up. I was probably the only one to hit that, right? <laughs> How many properties do you currently have for sale? It's a really good question. Um, I saw this picture in the background, and it kind of made me think of my son. It looked a lot like my son, and the swing was uh, makes me think of this property I was just giving some tours on a couple days ago, and the, the realtor that, uh, uh, that wants to sell the property is saying, you know, look at these trees. We should hang a swing in these trees and take a picture of the swing, and that'll be like the main picture to sell the property. I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. So that's, that's one of my projects here. I'm going to go hang a swing. I'm going to climb this massive oak tree hang a swing so you can get a picture to sell the property um so how many properties do we have well, let's jump into the website this is uh, ruralvacantland.com and uh i got the map search pulled up i love this part of the website spent so much time and energy working on this hopefully you guys enjoy this too this map search the link it says map search at the top of the website i'll put a link to this in the description below and you can go to the website and do the map search People ask, you know, what about properties here? What about properties there? Well, right now, pretty much, as long as you're not asking about Texas, uh, we pretty much have properties there. I guess central, you know, it's kind of weird. We've got a, kind of a gap of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, this this whole central area here seems to be missing. Um, maybe we should do some mailers to just target this and fill that map in, right? Uh, so we get these properties by sending out mail. We send out mail and I send out mail. My partners send out mail. People I work with send out mail because real estate, the the contact information of who owns real estate is a mailing address. So the vast majority of the databases, it's basically just a mailing address. Some databases you can get phone numbers and try to text them or call them and you know that gets into a whole bunch of different regulations. Sometimes you, some of the databases will tell you what social media they're on. You could chase down the real estate <clears throat> owners and social media. And that just seems kind of spooky and slimy and <laughs> not, not my kind of thing. But sending people a letter in the mail is very passive and very easy and very targeted. You can get straight to the point with the people that own real estate. And you could say, I'd like to buy your property. Here's how much I'm willing to pay. And when you do it on a massive scale, you can get lots of properties like this. So that's where these properties come from. And uh, we look at statistics and we see what kind of stuff think those things are trading for. And we try to buy them at below that kind of price and sell them at what they're trading for or less. And lots of times less because we, our money is worth more to us to move faster and go find the next deal than to try to get the, the highest price out of these things and so people love to shop that it's a pawn shop model they love to come and buy stuff from pawn shops because the pawn shop wants to get it out of the pawn shop they want a low price they want to move it fast same thing with this land we want to get it out of the shop we want it all sold gone was we could go send more mail and go get other other uh real estate that we could bring to the market and do it again with so Feel free to make offers, feel free to haggle, and, and a lot of them just have nice online checkout. You click the button and take off with it. The bigger price ones, um, depending on the state, like Georgia and Massachusetts and the Carolinas, and some of those states are, are attorney closed and we don't do online checkout, but other states who don't have the attorney closed for the smaller dollar ones, we do online checkouts. And for the bigger dollar ones, depending on the risk tolerance of the person selling the property, it might be 10, 20, or 50 grand, or 100 grand, or something plus. Properties will take it to a title company, with get title insurance, and uh, the same style that a realtor would do. Less the realtor. Less your realtor doing it, we could pay you too. Um, so there's the idea of what we've got. Now the question was, how many properties? So just this this map, I mean, there's a bubble here in northern Michigan that's been going off. We've got 168 properties like in the same area. we got some of those bubbles in Arkansas with a whole bunch of properties, cheap, easy properties in those areas. So numbers of properties doesn't, doesn't really tell the picture as well as the quality of the properties and the distribution of properties. I think we've got one heck of a distribution of properties right here. I don't know anyone else who can present this kind of land distribution um, without being like a Zillow and, and just aggregating from everybody and their brother. 
Um, but this is first sale by owner land. I mean, find somewhere else on the internet that has that kind of, this is it guys. And we get tons of traffic. We get lots of transactions for it. If you are a land dealer and you want to sell your land on this website, give me a call. My number's on here. We'll talk to you about it. I want qualified people that know what they're doing. That, uh, it's not one off transaction, but give me a call. We can, um, get you signed up and, uh, if you're if you're doing this in the same kind of style that I'm doing it, we can get you signed up to post some of your properties too. If you're already posted on the website, awesome. Thank you guys for all the friends and, and uh, colleagues and stuff that are posting properties on the website. This is what it's about. So how many properties? You know, I can't count all these bubbles. So we've got listings. And if we go to first sale, we'll go to the first sale part of the website. So listings for sale. These are the newest ones that just came up. There's just some nice snowy pictures. My sister just sent some pictures from northern Michigan. It was like the uh, the sunset over Lake Michigan with the ice going out and the dog running out to the edge of the ice and freaking out and <laughs> running back. Um, this is northern Michigan. It's full of snow right now. and But the Lake Michigan or the bay, east bay where I grew up, it's not iced over. So it's not like one of those cold, crazy winters where the... Uh, big water freezes over that's like every six years or something but it's uh it's a, seems to be more of a mild winter in northern michigan but it's still snow so these are the most recent ones that came up and uh, we've got a bunch of those to choose from here's 40 acres in kern county here's some like half acre ones in Pahrump, nevada which isn't that far from las vegas i should make videos about these i always got people asking about those Okay, so down at the bottom of the page, this is how you find out how many properties we got right now. So there's 10 per page, right? So we just saw um, three new Michigans, uh, 40 acres in Kern, that's four, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten properties per page. And we've got 186 pages, but the last page is probably not full 10. So 180. 185 plus 2. So that's 1,852 properties, right? 1,852. Yeah, because 185 pages plus these last two gives us 1,852 properties on the website right now. And so that's a lot of properties. Like, I got to make a lot of videos. That's like, who? guys you're putting it on my shoulders that's a lot of properties to present so sin post luke i love this channel how many properties do you currently have for sale right now 1852 properties and like they're going fast i'm doing paperwork on properties that sold today and uh you know there's i'm sure more will sell tomorrow and the next day and like if we go to the beginning these are ones that are probably posted like today right like these are today's postings new properties coming onto the onto the market look at this brand new one 12 views 12 views it's in the woods it's uh 150 dollars a month 0.4 acres i think it's got the utilities you can put a manufactured home on it in the woods you know give it a month or two it'll be green march april may yeah like the daffodils are going to pop up next month this snow will be gone um you know there's there's the idea so there's always new ones coming and there's a whole bunch of them out there. So thanks for the questions. Thanks for watching my little YouTube channel. If you're interested in hearing about more of these properties, I don't think I can actually make another 1,852 videos by the time these things sell. <laughs> like I can't make them fast enough. But you could go back in the history of my YouTube channel and probably watch that kind of number of videos about different properties that I've presented and uh, lots of others have sold in the past. We've got a history and we're charging forward and doing more deals. Uh, if you're interested in buying land, you should stick around and watch some of these presentations and see if the right one speaks to you along the way. If you want to speed it up, go jump into the website. I'll put that link down below to jump into the website and cruise through there and look at the maps or look at the listing or look at the area that you want to go to and zoom in on those properties. Thank you. See you in the next one.